Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Inamoney Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is July 1st, 2015. Thank you all for tuning in. So what you're going to see here is that the futures are flying high right now. They're up 16 and a quarter points. It looks like there's some news out of Greece uh, that it looks like they will be accepting the bailout terms. Uh, we'll see if this is uh, just a fluke or if it's a real deal here. And um, the markets seem to be rejoicing. You do have the European markets flying high this morning as you have uh, the German DAX up, I believe, by about 2.5%. French CAC 40 is up 2.5%. You have the Milan, the Italian market, up about 2.6%. The FTSE 100, which is not exactly part of the EU, um, they are up 1.4%. So um, pretty good move in Europe. And you can see the futures here in the U.S. are up. 16 and three quarter points right now to 2071 and a quarter per contract. They did trade as high as 2077 and a half, so there is a potential move back up to that level a little bit later today. But um, let's see how it all plays out. Right now, if you want to take a look at some stocks, you take a look at the GREK. This is going to be on the radar today. This is a pretty good move. Close at $10.06. Right now, it's trading at $10.88. Also, the National Bank of Greece. This is another one here trading at $1.19. Close at $1.05. So some pretty good moves in a couple of these uh, Greek ETFs and the Greek banking stock. And we'll see how it all shakes out today. But it's going to be all about Greece. Looks like there's some settlements going on in Puerto Rico regarding some general obligation bonds. Um, that is looking to clear up those skies over there as well. So things are starting to shift a little bit, and we'll see how it plays out. Um, come on over. Take a seven-day free trial to InTheMoneyStocks.com. This, this news or these moves should not be surprising to you if you were a member. All right, let's take a look at some other stocks out here. DuPont, I'm seeing today, is getting hit. Stock closed at 63.95. It is at now trading at 60.91. You have to let this fall. Um, there's going to be a big, big uh, support level, I think, for DuPont around the $58 level. Traders should keep watch of that. Also, um, if you'll take a look at the stock, um, the way it has fallen recently, um, there's always a chance it could get down to $56. I really like that level there for DuPont. Not sure we'll see that. It is down quite a bit already. Um, moving over, we're going to take a look at Deutsche Bank. This is the German bank right here. Um, this stock is flying high today. It closed at $30.16. It is now trading at $31.40. I'm going to give it the upside, believe it or not, all the way up to $32.85. If this Greek news holds up, this should be a big positive for Deutsche Bank. So I'm seeing resistance around $32.75, $32.85. Um, Got to give the stock the upside bias if it gets there. Let's take a look at... Um, Chubb CB is the ticker symbol. This is being bought out by Ace, which is, I believe, a Switzerland company. So, again, if you own Chubb, congratulations. Try your stop loss or take your money off the table. There's nothing to do here. This is a buyout. It's over with. Um, great move, though. I mean, the stock closed at $95.14 yesterday. It is now trading at $126.90. So, great move there on Chubb. Let's take a look at MKC, which is McKet uh McKesson, uh, McCormick, excuse me. McCormick is trading at $80.10. Um, it closed at $80.95. So again, um, this had earnings, but it's really not doing all that much. If it does rally up, watch for more resistance around the $82.50, $82 quarter level. Um, if it does start to sell off with a vengeance, you can be a buyer around the 70 Ooh, I'm just trying to do this math quick. 7690 7675 level so that's where I would be a buyer of McCormick okay so keep that on the radar we'll see if it does get down there next up we're gonna take a look at uh, TRV which is travelers um, I don't know the news here but this is a really good pop close at 9666 stock now is trading at hundred dollars and twenty three cents I'm gonna give it the upside bias to around 102.75 great move um, Pulling back a little bit here, but nonetheless, good move here for travelers. Let's take a look at Constellation Brands. That's um, ticker symbol STZ. And you're going to see the stock is trading at 119.50, closed at 116.02. Um, this stage of the game, this is a pretty good move here. It's got to really solidly close above this 120 level. But if it does that, the daily chart is telling me it can get to 
So we'll see how that plays out. And again, um, if you want to trade alongside of us, come take a seven-day free trial to the Intraday Stock Chat Room. You'll see everything that we're doing each and every day. Today should be a wild day again in this market. Uh, let's take a look at the gold market. Gold is down $2.70 to $1,169 an ounce. Here is the GLD, the ETF to trade gold, and that is trading at 112.22. So all in all, um, down a little bit from yesterday's close, which was 112.37. I still am not in love with the gold pattern just yet. If we take a look at the oil market here, crude futures are trading down 73 cents to $58.84 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO today, you're going to see that is trading around one uh, nineteen dollars and sixty nine cents it closed at nineteen eighty eight so again um, not a pretty picture here for oil or for gold and that looks to be because of the stronger US dollar today so if you take a look here at the dollar uh, 10 minute chart you'll see that it's up you take a look here at the dollar chart you could see that the dollar has a pretty good little move in it today so we'll see how this all plays out and shakes out right now if we go back to the futures they're still up about sixteen points on the session we'll see how this market plays out we'll see if this greek uh, story is uh, correct and um, we'll take it one step at a time but that's where we go from here and again um, should be a pretty good day for the in the money stocks members so with that being said everybody have a great trading day and we will see you all on the charts